Hello, John Bloodworth Gentleman Crafter here with an assembly guide for the triple floating diamond card and slip cover. This is a very simple to put together card, but it packs a punch in the fact that it's got the three floating diamond areas that you can embellish to your heart's content. Now I've paired it up with a slip cover this time, so that's an open-ended envelope. Here's the card in its folded state, and then basically pull out the two side diamonds to reveal whatever you want to put in the middle. In this case, I chose a sentiment. Now you can stand it as I'm showing here, where the sentiment is sort of hidden behind the two front panels, or you can tuck them behind and have that displaying as you see here. So plenty of choices in terms of decoration and display. <clears throat> Let's pop that back in the slip cover and I'll take you through the elements that you'll need to create this. So first up, you'll have two pieces, these strange uh, rectangular, rectangular diamond shapes. On the left-hand side of one piece, you'll have a valley fold, followed by another valley fold, and then a mountain fold on the outside edge. You've got decorative panels for six areas. So that's the four that you'll see with the open card, and then the two that you'll see with the closed card. And then on the opposite side, it's basically mirrored, so you'll have two valleys followed by a mountain. You've then got the three diamond shapes, which are going to be your main focal point. And then these two pieces make up the slip cover. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and glued down all of the decorative layers. So to start, we're going to point the two pieces for the, uh, for the card at each other and fold back those half diamond shapes where the valley folds are. So when you fold it closed like that, you should see the other two panels on the other side. We're then going to apply glue to one of those half diamond shapes. You can use double sided tape or tape runner if you would prefer. And then you're going to position that diamond shape lining up the points as you see me doing here. Then apply glue to the other half diamond on the other side. And slip that into position. Be careful with this, you'll need to line the tops and bottoms as well as all of the points. There might be a tiny bit of an overlap, but it will be barely visible. Don't panic. Okay, so that's our central diamond. Uh, in place. For the other two it's a case of folding the card side in, folding back the half diamond shape, applying glue and then sticking one of your uh, embellishment areas in place as you did with the central one. The big difference is that we're not going to stick the other half. It will probably be no surprise to you that we're going to repeat this for the other side. So once you've got the, that one stuck in place, fold that back out, fold the other side in, apply glue to the half diamond shape, and then get your full diamond shape and stick that on top, again lining up the points, just to make sure it's central and even. And there we go. That's the card fully assembled or ready for you to decorate. As I say, you've got options for which way you display it, but that's how you close the card. Fold one side in and then fold the other over the top of it. Now for the slip cover, you've got these two pieces, both with the tab on one side. So start by applying glue to one of those tabs. Bring in the other piece, face up, and stick it on top, lining the edge up with the score line from the first piece. Once 
Once you have that in place, apply glue to the other tab. And then what we're going to do is push that tab back in on itself and fix that to the back of that first piece. Be careful when you're using glue for this. Um, just be as sparing as possible. You don't want that glue slipping out of the sides and gluing that slip cover shut. And then the card just slips inside because it's a slip cover. Let me just show you again the serving suggestion that I created before I made this video. Now, of course, you could decorate the slip cover. This is probably going to be one that you'll want to give as a uh, an in-person card. What I've done is I've decorated the two outer panels or outer diamonds with a mirror image of each other and then a sentiment in the middle. You could of course put three sentiments, one on each diamond to um, create like a fuller effect or just do them all with embellishments. Anyway, however you choose to do it, I hope you have fun making and creating.